is Eric Ten Hag, of course. Isn't it funny? In football, right? Whenever the owners of a club come out and say, hey, we trust you 100%, this is always a bad omen. Whenever the owners come out and say stuff like this, Man United's manager retains the full backing of the club's leadership despite the Liverpool defeat. Whenever someone says something like this, it's never a good sign. It's always a sign that most likely they don't, you don't have their full confidence. They are thinking of firing you very, very soon. The reason why I say that is because even though they had this quote here, where's the quote? I'll get the quote up for you. Even though there was this quote down here that says, in terms of contract, that was a decision that was taken prior to our arrivals. By the way, this is also not a good sign. They're already distancing themselves from Eric Ten Hag's um, contract extension. It continues and says, but we are very happy with that decision. Eric has our full backing and we have worked very closely together. As Dan has said before, in this transfer window, we're going to continue working closely with him to help him get the results, a better, best results out of the team. Right? That, that was said the other day. This was said the other day. Today, look at this update. Ten Hag at risk unless game model impresses underwhelmed United bosses. <laughs> so not even 24 hours later, the entire narrative has changed. It's like, no, 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 no. He's not okay. He needs to fix up and get things going before he loses his job. So this is courtesy of Jamie Jackson from The Guardian. Um, let's continue here. It says the following. Ayrton Hart game model has to impress Man United's Ineos-led football department uh, or he's in danger of being removed. The style of play this season, viewed as underwhelming, underwhelming, sorry, United entered the initial break, won once and lost twice in Premier League. There is recognition inside the club that Ten Hag has been undermined by injuries and needs time to integrate his five summer signings, but also serious concerns regarding how he sets up his side. The Dutchman game model is being scrutinised by United's football department, which is overseen by Joe Jim Ratcliffe, led by Dan Ashworth and Twitter director Jason Wilcock. A major part of Wilcock's role is to monitor how the first team play. This is something we've said for a while. We've said it for a while as fans that we don't play good football. We don't even defend well. Forget even attacking well. We just don't defend compactly or well enough as a team. And I think we saw towards the end of last season, especially in the FA Cup game, as soon as we're compact and we're able to kind of close the gaps between the midfield and the, or the defence of the midfield and the midfield and the attack, and we have players kind of fighting for each other and fighting for the badge, we look a far better team. And I think that's a good foundation to kind of build from and then if Ten Hag has different ideas on how we attack go that way but we need a good foundation to start off with we need a good foundation of defense and that starts from every position but mostly as a team and at the moment he just keeps you know offering excuses about why we're not there it's obviously injuries we're missing I think last season was Lissandro then he comes back now it's Luke Shaw like it's always an issue there's always some player missing you're never going to have all your players fit at all the time. Sometimes you're going to be unlucky. You have to just make sure that we, you know, I don't think any United fan is saying that we want to win the league this season, but just at least defend well as a team. And that's not happening. That's a bare minimum. So I'm happy to hear that Ineos aren't just taking his word for it and just, you know, okay with the whole trophies excuse. And they're basically putting pressure on him to say, hey, we need to improve the way that we're playing or you're out of a job. And I think that's more than fair. I think that's more than fair. I think... I don't even think it should be expected that he stays until Christmas. I think if he doesn't improve the results before Christmas, he should go. I think that's the way it should be, especially if you know, spent as much money as they have in a transfer window and to acquire this small portion of the club in order to do the sporting side of things. You know, they've invested quite a bit. They shouldn't be letting it go to waste because they want to just, they don't want to look bad because they gave him a contract session. They gave him a contract session because he was, you know, an option that they could rely on at the time because they didn't think the other options were good enough. Cool. But if he then doesn't pull up any trees or meet their standards, I think I'm fairly okay with him being fired before Christmas. It continues. United 3-0 loss, loss to um, Liverpool on Sunday came in, in a display when they were vulnerable in midfield and defence as they were 2-1 down defeat from Brighton. The one of which of a full image opening game has failed to convince um, derived from the late Joshua Zerke goal. United again lacking control. I agree with that one as well. Ten Hag has been strongly backed by Ashworth and Omar Berada, the chief executive. In recent days, this support remains in the immediate future though. Ten Hag, who signed the contract session in the summer and other candidates has to show his team can dominate games and opponents. And that's the main thing I want to see. We haven't seen this in a while. Can we dominate games and opponents i can't think of the last time we dominated an actual good team not like you know league opposition in fucking fa cups and league cups no i mean an actual good team i can't remember the last time we did that so this is going to be a big challenge for him to be fair and he's quite stubborn too so i'm, I'm curious to see how he takes his challenge 
It continues in London in the summer. United signing um, signed Lenny Euro, Zerki, Mateus Delit, Mazwari, and Ugarte. Euro will be unavailable for at least another month um, owing to a foot injury. And Tenaga said Ugarte remains um, time to attain match fitness. Rasmus Hoyland, the first team choice number nine, has also yet to play. The Dane is back in training after a hamstring. And Luke Shaw, senior left back, is expected to be back um, after a calf problem has ruled him out of the team. I would terminate Luke Shaw's contract immediately. That's the first person I would terminate. I would terminate his contract by mutual consent and get him the fuck out of the team. He was injured. Yeah, I can't even begin to... I don't even want to get into Luke Shaw thing. Um, Tiro Malasio as well has been played for more than a month. And Victor Lindelof has been this year and has been made unavailable all season. So, um, I'm glad to hear that. I'm not going to lie. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear. I'm glad to hear Ayrton Hulk's job is under question. And it's not just a clear run of him kind of being okay. So let's hope going forward that we see some changes. And if not, then I'm happy for the manager to go because he's been an absolute underwhelming mess. And I can't wait to see the back of him. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait to see the back of him. He's fucking exhausting. I hate his press conferences. I hate the way he speaks. I hate the way he sets up the team. I hate the way we play. I hate the personalities that play for us. Like, it's just fucking a tragedy. So the sooner it's over, the better. If he turns it around, cool, I'm blessed. But it's unlikely going to happen. So Eric Tanha. Hog for out for me, Eric Ten Hog out.